three-person scrums are a notable element of the game of sevens, you have to think of it more of a scrimmage than a traditional scrummage in 15s. So let's take a look at the roles and tactics within it. So back to the chalkboard with the attack going up the field. This is a scrum formation with a prop, hooker and prop contesting the scrum and the nine putting the ball in. The hooker defends by going left with a nine either pressing his opposition or dropping to the backfield. The props pushing hard sometimes try to hold each other in. Flipping it with the attack going the other way exactly the same formation. The hooker defends left the prop goes to the near side. So we've seen it on the chalkboard, now let's have a look in action. So South Africa, England in the crucial pool game. We have the scrum half, the nine, and the near side prop ready to contest. The ball gets fed in, the strike happens, hooker goes left and Mitchell, all importantly, has to cover where Burgess has been held in. Waddleton, number 11, you see highlighted, tries to fill the gap, but the most incredible line from Steven Hans separates the two and he cruises in for what was an outstanding set piece score. So that was the left hand side scrum, now let's have a look at the opposite side. So exactly as we mentioned before, this Australian New Zealand game shows that the props are pushing with the hooker coming out and going left. The nine presses and then drops off, but most importantly here, keep your eyes on Scott Curry. The near side prop follows the ball in support and provides the extra man for the supporting play that results in the try. So with 97% retention and a fifth of all tries coming from scrums, they're a restart that are playing a massive part. 